hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. I'm here with one of my babies because this baby had a makeover. Would you like to see who it is? Are you ready? One, two, three. It's Jamie. Yup. He no longer has any hair. He is a baldy. Uh, about oh five months ago I noticed that he started to develop a bald spot on the back of his head and it was gradually getting bigger to where it was spreading to the right side of his head I didn't understand why the hair was falling out it made no sense to me at all uh, because I take very good care of my babies and so I was going to have him reroot it but even at the price that was quoted to me, which was very reasonable, was still too expensive for me. So um, then I thought about having his hair painted on and I came across a woman on eBay that was offering painting services and um, the only thing that she didn't do was remove all of the hair and the glue and stuff. I would have to do that myself. And so I was talking to a friend of mine last night on the phone while I was removing his hair. And I explained to her about the painting and everything. And so she had suggested that I be very careful of who I get to paint his hair. So. I uh, went ahead and decided, well, okay, <laughs> uh, maybe I won't go that route, you know. So after I got off the phone with her, I um, spent about, oh my goodness, three and a half, four hours removing all the hair and the glue from the inside of his head and all the hair from the outside of his head. It was very tedious. In fact, my one hand still hurts. Not a lot, but still hurts. Um, what I did is I used a method that Stephanie and Jackie Ortiz had shared in one of their videos, and they were showing how they use tape. And so I have that regular packing tape, and um, I had used small pieces of it, and uh, it, it was a lot of work, but I was able to get all the hair, you know, off of his head on the outside. And I had to scrape all the glue and the hair off of the inside. And he just looks simply adorable. And in fact, I, I don't know who the artist is that reborn him, but she did such a beautiful job of the veining and the mottling on his head it's unbelievable let me see if you if you'll be able to see it come here sweetheart but you can see if you can see it the vein here and here and the mottling and let me turn him this way you can see he's got the vein there and then here he has the veining. I mean, she just did such an amazing job. Here's the other vein and all the mottling. And here's the top of his head. I mean, she just did a beautiful, beautiful job. Absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I just cannot see myself having that covered up. I mean, it's it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it looks like a real baby's head the way she's got the veining and the mottling and I just cannot see covering that up so he just looks so adorable with a bald head that I'm going to leave him with the bald head um, he just he looks absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful with the bald head now of course if he didn't have the mottling and if he didn't have the veining on the top of his head, then yeah, I would definitely send him off to be uh, rerouted. Well, not rerouted, but uh, 
I would have probably sent him to Mandy to have her uh, paint his head for me. But anyhow, um, another thing I found out about Jamie when I took his head off, I thought he had acrylic eyes. As it turns out, he doesn't. He has glass eyes, and I'm so tickled pink about that, that he has real glass eyes. Unbelievable. So I'm just really happy about that, too. So I had to be really careful when I uh, took the glue and the hair out from the inside of his head. But he just... <laughs> He looks so sweet. And it doesn't bother me that he has a bald head because my sister was a baldy from the day she was born until she was almost three years old. And uh, so seeing a bald baby <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. He looks so sweet. Now he is in this sleep um, zebra print onesie and it's light blue and it's got the dark blue zebra print very very cute and I'm going to dress him in this outfit it's his train outfit and it's denim and it has blue and white stripes on the collar and on the pants and the the uh, top part of the outfit with the long sleeves is blue denim and um, there is a monkey on a train on the one side of the outfit and um, the uh, train is uh, blue, red, yellow and has buttons for the lights and that's on a blue train track and has uh, a blue and a yellow car and uh, says choo choo and it has a little monkey and he's white and he has a red cap on and blue overalls and then on the other side of the outfit there's a windmill with little houses and it's all embroidered it has red snaps going down the front but on the back it's really cute on the back now it's all blue denim but look at this these are snaps and you unsnap it and it the flap comes down so you can change the diaper I thought that was so cute so I'm gonna put him in this so, I'm not going to put any socks or shoes on him. I'm just going to leave him barefooted. I love his feet. So, I'm just going to leave him in bare feet. So, it, it, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I did not think that I would uh, get his head down. I, I'm very surprised at myself that I was even able to do it considering that I'm partially blind to begin with you know and uh, when I was doing his head I had to keep putting it up to my eyes so I could see the little hairs to make sure I got the little hairs off and everything so it was a lot of work for me here we go sweetheart let me get you all done up here. And then what I did is before I put him back together, I uh, added more weight to his head. And I added more polyfill to his chest and neck area of the body because I had put more weight in his head. There we go. Yeah. He looks so cute. Oh my goodness. I wish I had a, uh, what do they call those? Oh, conductor hats. That's it. I wish I had a conductor hat for this outfit. That would look so cute. All right, Jamie. We're almost done, sweetheart. There we go. Fix this up. Here's my big boy. Oh, he looks so sweet. <laughs> he looks so sweet. Now, because he has a monkey on his outfit, he's got his little sock monkey friend, Lovey. And the monkey's brown. And the blanket part is white, and it's trimmed with red. And the little monkey's mouth is red. 
and that'll bring out the uh, white and red in the monkey will bring out the white and the red on his outfit and then he's got his little red and yellow caterpillar and this will bring out the yellow and the red in his outfit so he can hold that little guy and then he's going to wear his pacifier clip that his auntie Mia made for him if you recall a while back she had made pacifier clips and it says his name Jamie it has a little blue bird on it very very cute and what I did is I attached a pacifier blue pacifier and it says wild one on it very cute I thought it was very fitting since He's got the monkeys going here on his train and holding a wild monkey. So I thought this was a good pacifier for him to wear. So there we go. And he looks so cute. <laughs> he looks adorable with his bald head. So I'm very, very happy that I did remove the hair and uh, not only proved to myself that I could do it you know but I also found out at the same time that he's got beautiful glass eyes and I'm just so pleased so very happy he's just so cute he is so so cute so he is going to be my baldy yep my little baldy baby very cute. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just had to show him to you so you could see him in his makeover. Everyone, thank you for watching and take care. Bye for now.